Hello guys, this is the LOTV OcoStyle 2.0. With me is Mamba. Hello, Mamba. Hello, Neoblade. Yeah. We, we are very glad to yeah. present you the uh, new OcoStyle. Right. And we will just pause a second if the first overlord is built, which is right yeah, now. Paused. Um you're let's sorry um sorry guys, I guess got a little bit confused. We're very glad to present you um, the, the LOTV Ocostyle 2.0 and it the the build order is uh, was invented under the ideas of OCO. Um, could you explain OCO is a was a Grandmaster Zerg in Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm 2 and uh, he taught pupils and students um, the Oco style what are the basic fundamentals what you should learn with this build order the Oco style is basically a very simple build order and a very simple game plan that teaches you the basic of Zerg like injecting grip spread and proper drone management uh, I think it helped a lot of players uh, in Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm uh, especially in the German community. Yes. Um, but now with the new economy, uh, economy, and with the new paste of Legacy of the Void, uh, we had to create a new Oko style. Yes. Some of the basic parts which you will see is um, are, are ravagers. Um, we will explain what you can do with them when we um, show the push. The basic understanding of uh, Ravagers is, of course, they can shoot over force fields um, to uh, kill important units of a, of a Protoss. They can um, destroy a depot or a bunker or a tank um, in ZVT. But um, it's, uh, the basic understanding is you try to defend until about the five minute mark, a little bit less. And then you um, compose an army of ravagers and roaches, and you try to kill your opponent or to um, make damage on him, which works totally fine until Platinum League. But you will have problems um, killing your opponent with this push in ma Masters. But this build order still works in Masters, which we pr have proven already, and you can Google for. GG tracker and sorry, um, I do not post the Dendroaspis. This is a letter name. I hope I I, I did uh, type it right. Correct? Yeah, yeah, it's correct. Okay. You can Google that, and um, then you should get to the GG tracker account of Mamba. Mamba um, Dendroaspis is the Latin name for the snake Mamba. Um, just to Make sure you understand that. <laughs> um, okay, should we resume the replay or should we say something uh, else? Yeah, no, I think that's pretty much summed it up. It's like it's a two-base timing attack with a very economic follow-up. Uh, yeah, let's resume. The um, replay. Yeah, um, two things uh, you've Very mentioned easy. regarding um, this this build order. It helped a. Thousands of players in Germany, even um, some in other countries as well, and we recommend the Oco style um, for every Zerg from Bronx to Diamond. Um, if you do not feel okay in Bronx or Silver with the staircase, or if you want to practice one build order for your um, complete complete career in StarCraft II, this build order can be executed in every league and is successful in every league. So, um, just to inform you, on the left-hand side, you see 13 Overlord and the seconds um, when the, the building yeah, or the close. unit is placed or when the unit is built, which means we play a 17 hatchery. You see the yellow um, heading right in the middle of the screen and you see on the left hand side 17 hatchery so even if we do not explain every step you can see the build order 
just like it was played uh, moments ago. Game yeah, a little exactly. bit faster, I think. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the, in the early game, of course. Um, it's, um, Hedge first was not played that often. Um, in Wings of Liberty, it was almost never played on a high level because Forge Fast Expand was a common response um, by Protoss, which could lead to Cannon Rush. Um, in Legacy of the Void, Cannon Rush is not a problem. Why? Uh, no, with the new economy, uh, you can punish free edge before pool, but you can't punish a hatch first opening with Cannon Rush anymore. Because you have a lot of drones, you even have um, links in time. This is the first thing I want to mention. We built four Zerg links. Um, in higher leagues, you can, if he expanded CC first or Nexus first, you can um, skip two of those links. But we recommend in the lower leagues from Bronx to Diamond to always build one spine crawler, to always build four Zerglings, to take the watchtowers, to um, scout the front, and you you won't have problems uh, with with this. If you skip the spine crawler or the links, you can die to early pushes. Or yeah, exactly. take heavy damage. This build order is designed to be perfectly safe against everything without having to focus too much on, much on multitasking and scouting. Right. So you take four gases at the same time, right after the first inject pops. When the first inject pops and you spend those minerals on drones, then you add four gases. And this is the first difficult step because you have to um, take the gases, spend all your lava, and um, put drones in every gas. So this is the first difficult step, which in Bronze League needs a little bit of training. Um, you can train it in the ladder, you can train it against the AI, but to become accustomed to this, to be, to get a little bit of speed, train speed in, in, in this matter. Um, this could be the first difficulty. I've seen a lot of um, player in the lower leagues uh, who forget something like taking the gas or building drones. It's very important you spend your lava right away. We can just prove it to you. Um, we take a look at the lava. Um, Mamba, you can press uh, U. We do not have money right now, but if we have money, you see, he always builds. Um, he k keeps his money low, and he tries to spend all his lava. Yeah, spending your lava and getting as much drones as possible early on is key for uh, for a good Zerg gameplay. Yeah, it's it's a difficult thing to do, uh, but it's very very important. Yes, we have seen. Um, lower league players in, in, in gold league um, which build early on six spine crawlers against a CC first opening and then units for no reason at all and we have seen um, at this time we have um, five minutes into the game and 30 seconds and we've seen not 44 drones we have seen 25 and you have to understand building drones is very, very important for Zerg. And what you see is very good creep spread. If that's too difficult for you and you only want to creep in one direction to your opponent, that's totally fine. But have in mind, you have to play good injects and train your creep spread. And that is one of the fundamentals using this build order too, because you have four queens, you can easily train Game your reason. creep spread. Yeah, this is one of the wonderful things about this build order. Like, it's very easy to execute. It's Every low league player can uh, execute it well and have success with it. But at the same time, it's not the easiest build order and it has a really big, uh, really high skill ceiling. So you can creep spread all across the map. Um, like, the lore management is isn't very easy. You can micro your ravagers, um, etc., etc. It's really like it's, it's it's a great build order for every league. Yes, I totally agree. 
um, some people make the mistakes in, in, in make the mistake in this step and um, they see they have high gas like um, you've seen Mamba having 600 gas and they jump to their um, to their Evo chambers and start um, to two right away if um, even if it's um, if one one is on only 50% you need this gas you can see it the the gas is the gas amount is reduced to 200 because we need gas for ravagers the ravager amount is we have we had games 20 roaches for ravagers we had we have games like this where we have um 14 roaches and seven ravagers this depends on what you want to do um with your ravager micro and of course, if you're in a high league, um, what the unit composition of this Protoss is, or the Terran, or whatever. Yeah, if you are in a higher league, you can scout with an Overseer when your lair is finished. And then you can kind of um, adjust your unit composition, or not your, not the composition, but the amount of units you build and the amount of units you will attack. Um, so in this case, we go back, we would have killed the Protoss and this already showed you that it's a very strong push uh, if you execute this push properly you won't lose any games um, below high platinum if you, if you play the push uh, if you execute the build order well if you micro your units well um, you will, or like if, if you don't uh, lose your units in a silly way you don't really have to micro them uh, you will do a lot of damage with this push. Even if you only build uh, three or four ravagers and you do not do no micro at all, this push will straightly kill your opponent from bronze to gold. Even um, platinum it will kill you most most of the time. If you use good micro and um, improve your micro skills, it even uh, will put heavy damage on um, put heavy damage on uh, diamond league as well. We did uh, um, kill a Cybercore uh, Stargate uh, on, a, on a diamond level on, against a diamond opponent. And afterwards the, the, the game was, pretty, uh, was basically over. Yeah, so the follow-up after the push, uh, you need to spend a lot of gas afterwards. First, you, you drone up your third base, you get the gases at the third base, and then you start 2-2. Two, two, you get a third evolution chamber where you start a plus one melee upgrade. You start overlord speed. You start a hydrolisk then, and you start an infestation pit to get a hive. And we have I've shown the upgrade um, uh, circling speed as well. And uh, circling speed as well. Yeah. yeah. That, um, uh, we we um, pause here, and please uh, tell again the folks w who are listening the. Um, the order of execution, which means you do not um, you do not build a circling speed before uh, you place an infestation pit, right? Or yeah. So, so the very first thing you have to do is like drone up your third base, get the gases at the third base because you really want a lot of drones. The next thing you do is you put down a hydrolisk then and an infestation pit. I show the infestation oh. pit and the hydrolysis den. So yes, uh, you, um, at first the hydrolysis den and the infestation pit. You need the hydrolysis den um, against uh, cloak benches, fast benches, other um, air stuff, and um, even scouting overlords in ZVZ. Um, Roach Hydra is a very good unit composition for the mid game, I think. Yeah, and then you start the the third evolution chamber. I sh uh, show it. Mm -hmm. Overlord speed to get uh, faster overlords, and uh, you can start uh, link speed at the end. Okay. Um, Hydralisk uh, muscle aug augments is started. Um, um, yeah, you can start it instantly when the Hydralisk then finishes. Ah, okay. It's already finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the fourth base. You want to add the fourth base the moment you hear mineral fields depleted in the in your main base. So the moment your first mineral patch depletes in the main, you start your fourth base. Okay. If you're um, on diamond and masters, 
could you even um, watch your minerals in the main base when you inject, for example, and see, okay, there are only 20, 50 minerals left on, on one um, patch. Could you then um, build the fourth as well? Uh, yeah, of course, you can also start it earlier um, as you want. And as your skill allows you to. Yeah. Okay, we started um, an Ultralisk cavern instantly when our hive finishes, right? Yeah, as soon as the hive finishes, you, sh you start the Ultralisk cavern. And what's also important, you start the uh, Chitinous plating upgrade in immediately. When the Ultralisk cavern is uh, ready, which happened right now. Uh, this is a key upgrade in the game, it makes your Ultralisk very, very tanky. And you need those tanky Ultralisks to, to buffer for your Hydralisk. Okay. Um, you try to... it's not important for other maps, but you try to um, open the rocks on on one side of on on your side of the map it's um important on this map because fights um down there are not that good or um a move would always run through the middle wouldn't it uh it depends you can you can cross the the bottom like there are free free paths um but it doesn't really matter a run by with roaches because you've seen the watchtowers, he's coming toward, towards our, our our base and if a real opponent would have had a third base there, you can do damage with these roaches. Yeah, this is more advanced stuff, like if you are in platinum or diamond, you can do as many counter attacks as you want, especially with links, uh, but also with your roaches. And your goal is it to get a ultralisk uh, Ultralisk Hydro Army. Which is very strong. Yeah. The only exception is CVC. In CVC you don't want to tag to Hive. In CVC you will just stay on Roach Ravager and you will just push your opponent once you are maxed. Um, I, I totally agree for Platinum, Diamond and Masters but I think in, um, in Bronze, Silver and Gold you can execute this just like we you see see it here because your opponent is not in in bronx not able to punish uh, this kind of tech if you scout well and defend well yeah of course of course okay i think important what i've shown and written in the replay um if you attack you will lose units an important f factor for zerg is you can remax instantly because you have good injects, which is a key goal for learning the Zerg race. Have good injects. This means you have a lot of lava, and this means you can instantly remax or stay maxed in the fight, rally your army to your opponent, and he cannot max out instantly again. In most of the times he won't be maxed at all, but try to keep maxed in the fight if you're um, gold or above. But yeah. try... Me this me mm -hmm. uh, mechanics in StarCraft are very, very important, and that's just... It's, those are the key things in StarCraft, like spend your money, uh, build a lot of workers, uh, inject well, um, that that's very important and those are the basics and this build order and this style is designed to teach you those basics like this isn't the build order you will see in pro games or in very high level Starcraft uh, but this style is especially uh, specifically designed to to teach you those basics um, we played about 20 to 30 games from diamond to masters and we did not lose a single one of them. M Mambar is a Grandmaster Zerg. You s you've seen it uh, in the in the starting screen, but he scouts well. Um, but his macro and his m mechanics didn't even need to scout from Bronx to to Platinum because we knew his 
reactions in, in fights in his base would be so good that we wouldn't lose a game. We, we lost games bec because we played the staircase and um, sometimes people counter the staircase but with this style we did not lose a single game because when the opponent cheesed us we played the, the build order a little bit differently which you can watch in my channel but basically if your opponent plays some kind of fast expand build which you will encounter 80% of the time then this build order will win if you have very good macro and very good mechanics definitely and we have proven it it's not it's a not a matter of opinion it's it's a proven it's a proven fact okay i think this wraps it up guys enjoy um enjoy the build order enjoy your training enjoy the zerg race enjoy spreading creep i show the creep which uh, almost is completely on the map and the opponent would not not have been able to push on either side of the map we always could see it thank you mamba you have the last words yeah enjoy the style guys good luck and try to improve good luck and have fun see you